Hi everybody, I was just repotting my Pink Princess Philodendron and now I'm going to do my Golden Pothos, as you can see. This is two, so I'm going to use this bigger green pot, a good size pot, and I have just made a steak the other night, a sphagnum moss climber. Here we go. Underneath is cocoa hash that I have glued into it, so I used a glue gun, and then I put the dried sphagnum moss that I use for orchids and I glued it on top so it's still quite hollow but when you spray this one this one will become moist so and the golden pothos will be able to dig its roots into the the actual climber and that will help them uh, grow taller and bigger and they say that if you have it on a moss pole it will grow longer and bigger leaves as they go higher so now i'm just going to use the same soil because it needs to be aerated and looking at this soil that they have just put that away um it's full of little tiny barks see so it's quite fine but it's not um heavy it's not heavy in in the you know soil so i'm not going to disturb that one much i'm just going to leave it that way and then come and get this one i was going to propagate this cut it into small bits and pieces but i have decided to just plant it um, and make them small moss poles i just love i like the look of the moss pole and this is two in each plants but um yeah so i want to have the moss ball so i made this one nicely i made a swiss cheese now i've got this one so and i've just got to do some more for the others but my marble pothos i've just done it for temporary so i'm just gonna fill this up with the soil that i've mixed previously which is uh, premium premium mixed soil together with garden bark and perlite and I also added some pet moss but a small amount just to keep the um, soil the potting mix uh, moisture as well as aeration and the perlite does that and so is the garden bark so and it's still got nutrients in there so we've got plenty of other good stuff for the plants so now i have got my moss pole so let's secure it in this position pull away my my golden pothos make some room so I can show you okay so I am going to place it about there I think that's a good spot now I normally put another pot in there to hold it but I think I could do it with just the soil so let's just try that And in the meantime, pop my plants in the east side, like so, so I can fill it up with soil at the same time, securing the pole, the moss pole. Oh, please don't rip for me. Okay, here we go. There. Uh, turn that around a little bit it's going to look really cool once it is climbed on the climber there 
there you go so it looks really good so far already so have that like that and the other one in here just gonna make sure that one just snapped oh that's not good i heard it cracked how is that is it looking good so far because i think it is i haven't even finished it yet it's already looking good so let's not disturb too much of the pot just cover it with soil down so I can use my two hands these two plants cost me I don't remember now $25 $24 each so that's $50 worth of plants but I have obviously spent money on the moss and the, you know, the cocoa hash, um, the soil of course, the mix I also bought, and the pot I was fortunate enough was given to me, so that was good, it didn't cost me anything, so all up, uh, I'll probably say this is worth about 75 bucks well excluding my time then effort to put this one but the cost because um, plants are not cheap but if you do if you're good at it and you look after it it will give you lots of joy and you can propagate it and have more and that way you can sell and get your money back which of course that's what I intend to do later on but for now I'm just happy to plant it and enjoy the beauty of the actual plants I do have already one that I propagated because I have bought some before and I cut it up but this one because it's already quite long I really would like to have the chance of having it grown long if I can get my moss pole stick and be steady in there because it needs to be nicely tucked in okay there we go I think that's that's pretty good now they are tying it now Normally, I would have something to. I'm not happy with this one because it's broken. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna keep an eye on that one. There's, a, there's already a roots there. I'm gonna try to tuck it in. So just bear with me, I'll take my gloves off. Hmm. That's not going to leave. Well, it still might. I did not want to cut it. If I leave it like that, it might just leave for me. So, I'm just going to tuck this in under. So, I'm going to find a little hole to tuck the already established area of roots like so just 
because that's actually that could possibly be another plant right there so I could cut that off and start fresh especially this one is broken I might just do that um, just be with me I'm just gonna find my little scissors okay so just got my little clipper I got a yarn to tie it same color as the sphagnum moss and I'm going to chop this up because it's already damaged and since that one's already got I might just do that here so this damage here so I'm just gonna take that off and have three planes out of that there you go that one's got roots so I just need to pop it in the pot and that one doesn't have any roots yet but I can soak it into water and that one to develop as well so let's just put that aside for now and that one is short but that's okay I am not worried about it because I have got a few others so let's begin by I might just grab that for now until I place the others so I can tie that around so these quite healthy plant I'm going to let's just grab that one in here and put it here a little bit in the middle I'm just going to secure it with the safety hook right now See this one has a good aerial root system so I'm going to try to find a nice spot so that they can dig their roots and that one can go on the ground find a slightly small hole to dig that in because the the plants will think that they're in the rainforest and then therefore they'll climb up they will hold on to the tree and then climb up and I think of making a bigger leaves to catch the uh, sun of course going to snip that off now I could tie as I go along one by one so let's just do this in the bottom anymore so I'm just going to tie them with a the yarn so that they are you know hugging the climber if I can tie it so for me to keep the um, yarn firm the first time you tie it you loop it around a couple of times so maybe not too tight I don't want to I don't want my plants to not be able to move and then second time you just snap it and then I'm just going to cut the excess so it doesn't look ugly 
we go. Let's draw another one. I'm not, probably not going to be able to see that properly, can you guys? But uh, unfortunately, I haven't got a camera person to help me focus on my tying my knot. It would be nice to have somebody else do the filming and be able to really show what you're talking about. But you get the idea anyway. You get the idea that we just nicely tied in there. So that's one done. Three more to go. Yeah, so don't worry about the yarn. The yarn is cheap. They're only um, acrylic, so and they're all my spare ones from my previous beanies that I had leftovers. I think I just snapped off the roots. Oh well, we'll grow another one. So let's try another, probably could do it two yarn, a uh, one yarn, but I want to secure each individual root into the actual climber, so I want to make sure that they're placed nicely, so it's going to be a lot of yarn by the time I finished here. But at least I know they're secure. They're not going to come off. Now, I know um, there was a lady. She was selling this particular plant with this. Actually, she bought it um, a while ago. But she's moving, so she wants to sell it her climber and this particular plant with this moss pole now hers was a lot longer than mine more, more established obviously but that was $250 so I mean it does take a little while to look after them it's not something that you just you know have and just grow like nothing um, it does cost so some people just don't appreciate the, the plants itself or how long it takes to grow it but yeah so I hope she gets the price that she wanted um, like I said before this alone this plant now what I'm doing this would cost me at least a hundred dollars if I were to buy everything I mean including the pots the mixed the potting mix I made four potting mix but some of them are given to me so I was fortunate but uh, the plants I bought and per pot was $24 $25 each $24.95 and yeah and there were I could have bought the cheaper one but they were um, not very long so even if I decided to trim this and propagate it or cut it in small, I'd still be able to, you know, have a nice growth established plants. Obviously if this is this plant is happy in this pot, it will grow faster for me and then as it gets longer I'll dry it back down and then up and then down and if it gets too much I can propagate it I do have another oops I think I just pinched it oh, I didn't I do have another pot that I have cut up um, 
it's not going too well because obviously it's not on a climber and it's in the same pot but like I said the plant grow better when it's in the climber because it thinks to uh, climb up the top just like in the nature and then especially if they can dig their roots into the climber it will help them uh, get nutrients, water obviously to support not only the whole plant but that section of the plant so let me see yep. maybe I'm making it a bit too high I wanted the node to be flat into the actual climber so when the root comes it can grow into it and I want this one to continue at the top so I better not try it towards the front there that's better because I do have another one coming along like this one probably should have that one but it's nice to have it around as well so okay so that's one plan set done okay now the next one is this this one's got big aerial ro roots so I'm just going to find a spot maybe make a hole for it, for it to go through I can't, you know help it hide it in there Hopefully I don't break it. Maybe that will help it with a knife. Come on inside. There we go, got that one sorted, and I'll just close that for now, tie it with that little clip, so I can grab some of my yarn. It's nice and secure. They're definitely not going anywhere, that's for sure. There's abundance of yarn around the the, uh, the body of my succulent, uh, succulent climber. I mean, I could have done all of them in one go, but I wanted to make sure that I secure each. A vein in its place without uh, you know Okay, so I'm just tying the top bit now. 
the new there's a young beautiful leaf that's coming through it's going to be lovely right there i'm just training it to go up because it was actually bending and there's the younger leaf with the other one i actually broke the aerial roots there so i didn't like that one at all trying to find a spot for it to dig in instead I snapped it naughty naughty me I'm very sorry my beautiful plants but um, I have actually decided that I'm going to sell all my plants so I can share any profit that I make to my family overseas, which I usually do anyway. And then I'm going to rebuy some more plants and redo some more. And that's the only way, really. And so if anyone out there would like to buy one of my plants, you see it and close by, let me know. I'm going to do it. I, I do love it and I want to keep it for myself, but I think uh, it's time to share it now. I'm getting the hang of. Uh, I think I might just tie that one here. I think I'll enjoy it as I watch it grow and then, of course, let somebody else enjoy it. So, give me comments. See how much I should sell these plants. I don't know. Um, it's costing me about $75. I really don't know. How much to sell because I'm not really a plant seller but I think it's a good idea I have made a few sale before because I had to reduce some of my plants I'm actually overcrowded because I just do a lot of propagating repotting and I just enjoy it so there we go so how's that looks good now I've got one more to go here we go I can do it the other side. Put one more spot there. Just gonna make sure I don't snap the the aerial roots. I did that before. Actually, did a couple times. Not good. That's good. It's supposed to be helping the plants, not killing it. That's what I'm doing. Can't, pla can't pass to be a plant, planet Earth, can I? Alright, so it's almost, almost there. Just bear with me, guys. I will show you my work in close up in a moment when I'm done. Time is up. My darling daughter is making me a cup of coffee. I hope. Okay. I'm actually quite glad that I've started uh, doing this because, like I said, I was a little bit upset today and I kind of lost my interest in doing stuff because of my monstera being killed. So, but then I thought, no, instead of doing nothing and being upset about it because there's nothing I can do, just keep on moving. Keep on moving and do something. And then we achieve something at the end of the day. So, this is it. My little achievement today. And I've been meaning to repot all my plants, so. I have to make an effort. I've actually cleaned all my fish tank as well. Feed my babies. And now I'm doing this. So, even if I just do this before dark, I'm happy. Because it is quite dark, it's almost well, it's because it's raining as well, so I suppose that's, you know, it's probably the only.
I have to be very careful I do not snap the roots because I am uh, having a tendency of doing it right now. I'm so close to finishing. It's so much better when it's in the climber. One more and we are done. Or maybe two more. Sorry guys, you can't see this side. Just know that I am trying to dig a hole for my roots, for my aerial roots to dig into the climber so it can bury itself. At the same time, trying to keep my vein nice and straight so it looks good. It can grow nicely without bending and curling and all sorts of crazy direction. Now, of course, at the shop, it was just overgrown with their own small climber. That's why. But now they have a very big one. I hope that they'd be happy, happier. Now, maybe one more. Yeah, let's intertwine them, hey? Because I would like to see more leaves in the front, not in the back. Okay, here we go. I am a dumb. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure that I've got enough soil in there. Get rid of that. Alright, so I'm just gonna grab a camera and show it to you guys. One sec. Okay, so let's go on the other side of the camera. Here is my moss pole cocoa hash uh, climbers as you can see I have tied the yarn close to the node right there and this one when they do come through and this is my newly potted golden pothos there we go so it needs a little bit of cleaning so I'm going to wipe it off a little bit later on but Look how happy they are, or will be happy. So let's just twist it around so you can see. There's my beautiful newly potted. So that's the size of the pot, it's just perfect. Because although my climber seem to be bending, I might have to re uh, reassess that one when I put it down. <laughs> But otherwise, it's nice and steady. 
so there you go guys 30 minutes of reporting my mon um, golden pothos so golden pothos has got this yellow variegation and the leaves are green and this lovely uh, shape the uh, shapes so this is my other one that I wanted to do now I do have another plants that I'm gonna build a climber and repot it again and turn it like this because I did make some climber but they're not very good so I want to make it all like this so, but I have to buy some asphagnum moss I think I've run out I can't find any more so I need to buy some more tomorrow and make some more so there you go so I hope you like that I'm sorry if it's, you couldn't see it's on the side when I was doing it but now you can see so yes you can see the nodes are I've digged in that's what I was talking before that I actually made a hole and let it dig in there so it can climb and grab some nutrients because I will be watering this so let me just grab my water and I'll show you okay I've just got some fish tank water pop it into my my actual bottle so I'm just spraying the nodes that node section of the plants It'll be all right so if I just spray this one the water that comes out will just drip down into the actual roots in the bottom so I won't be over watering my plants I think I'm just gonna do that from now on because I'm just really worried about over watering them um, so there's my see as you can see the sphagnum moss once it's wet it changes color obviously darker brown and the leaves are well i might wet the leaves a little bit and uh, wipe it off my um philodendron pink princess that i wet earlier it's already dried so that's a good thing so now you don't want to wet too much because you don't want to uh you know freeze the plants but it is getting warmer so now I didn't disturb the plant earlier so the, the bottom the roots are still quite wet from a previous watering so I'm not so concerned about watering that but I do like to do the nodes so it helps it think to grow and climb sorry about that I kind of forgot that taking a video well not forgot just didn't point it right so there you go so I mean I don't need to wet this section but once they're all um, tall at the very top I can do that so I'm just going to spray this a little bit so I can clean it there you go guys my sphagnum moss climber with my lovely golden pothos there you go done done two potting today that's good they will be happy with this just gonna wet it a bit more it's raining today so let them think that they're getting the rain as well it's kind of crazy now isn't it talking to my plants oh dear oh, a nice soaking moss pole so the moss pole will keep the moist uh, in and of course we just spray it every now and again I mean I could just put the water on the top and let it drip down like I do with my uh, Swiss cheese so I'm just gonna hopefully find some more sphagnum moss and make another one because I've still got a few plants to have it on a climber and I've been meaning to do that and just haven't had a chance I've been busy with other stuff like my fighting fish, breeding my fighting fish. 
now I breed all my fish except one just uh, number three the other one is hasn't really started yet but that's okay I have got a few okay that will do that will do there you go guys how is that my beautiful golden pothos and it's on very on timer and they will be nice and lush and bushy in no time so i just got to find a perfect spot in the house where they can thrive and grow into these beautiful plants all right guys enjoy and give me a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel share to your friends and family and maybe you can learn a little bit from me as i've learned from other people thank you very much for watching cheers